We are only a couple of days away from the highly anticipated Fushen banner, bringing us our very first quantum preservation character, but also our very first quantum abundance character. We're going to be talking about all the units on this banner and if it's worth your very, very precious stellar jades. I'm going to be telling you my thoughts on all the characters individually and then the entire banner as a whole. Then we will talk about your account and how that will also play into deciding if you should pull. Lastly, we'll finish off with talking about Fushen and what she provides team-wide what options she opens up and how I think she'll be in the meta in the near future. All right, we got a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. Hit that like button right now and subscribe so you can help me continue to create content like this and more. As I said previously, Fushen is a quantum preservation unit that is able to redirect damage from her teammates to herself. She's a super strong self-sustaining unit who can self-heal the damage in order to keep herself healthy without the need for a dedicated healer. Fushen also provides a small amount of HP to each team member as well as a decent amount of crit rate. This gives Fushen a small amount of overlap into the harmony path and really adds to what she can provide to the team. Finally, Fushen prevents one debuff per use of her skill from being put upon your team. These small bonuses that Fushen provides really helps herself distance from Japard, especially in fights with devastating debuffs like Kafka's controllability, for instance. With the recent Swarm update, many players complained of dealing with enemies who were able to take their teammates from 100 to zero in a single hit. Characters like Fushen will be a great addition to those who are dealing with these issues as the damage will be shared between team members. Fushen is great for teams that require a ton of skill points as well as she only really needs one skill point every three turns in order to maintain her buff upon her team members. This allows Fushen to generate skill points easily with her own basic attacks that you and other teammates can spend. The banner for Fushen consists of Pila, an Ice Nilidity character, Hook, a Fire Destruction character, and Lynx, the brand new quantum abundance character. Lynx is an extremely strong four-star unit that is generally seen as a small step up from Natasha. Lynx is an HP scaling healer that also has the ability to increase HP totals as well as increase taunt upon destruction and preservation characters. Lynx also has an extremely strong ultimate ability which cleanses a single debuff off of all allies at once. This is probably one of the strongest debuff cleanses in the game and works well against enemies who can spread dots across your entire team. Lynx will work really well along with Blade being able to improve his damage as well as increase the likelihood of Blade being targeted by attacks, meaning more follow-up attacks for Blade as well as more increased damage. For those looking for a solid Bailu replacement due to Bailu not having a cleanse, Lynx is a great option for that role. Moving on to Pila, Pila is a 4-star Ice Nilidity unit that is able to reduce enemy defenses and its C4 can even reduce ice resistances. Pila is a super dynamic unit as her debuff will work with a large variety of damage styles regardless of their scalings. Her defense debuff is also team-wide, meaning compared to Silverwolf, she'll be able to target more enemies without requiring as many skill points. In future Ice and Freeze teams, like some with possibly Jing Liu, she will become even stronger. Lastly, Hook, which is a four-star fire destruction unit with a sort of mixed play style. Hook will provide both upfront fire damage as well as burn damage alongside it. In the current meta, Hook is a great early game option for players looking to invest into a unit while they save for their favorite five stars. As player accounts progress though, Hook seems to have less of an impact just due to being outscaled by many other team members. I'll let you in on a secret though that burn teams past patch 1.4 will definitely have a spot within the meadow, so do keep your eye out for those future characters. The overall banner is rather strong, especially for players new to the game. Almost every character beyond Hook has a pretty strong future outlook within the meta. Lynx and Peeler are both extremely versatile team members with great Eidolons that provide even more benefits to the team. Do keep in mind for those that pulled for Sila and Locha though, you may have already already max your Pila Eidolons. So your account and where you are in your Star Rail journey is super important when it comes to determining if you should pull for Fushen. I'm going to talk to you guys about some key things to keep in mind when deciding on this banner, which should help you figure out your answer. So let me ask you first a few questions. Are you a brand new player to Honkai Star Rail? And when I say brand new, I mean you just joined the game within the current patch or you're under like Trailblazer level 40 currently. Usually new players have very little options when it comes to preservation or abundance characters to work with. On this banner, we have two Two options that are likely to be pulled, both Lynx and Fushan. When building an account from the ground up, focusing on units that are flexible and impactful should be your number one priority. Characters like Tin Young, Bronya, Natasha, and Silverwolf come to mind. In patch 1.3, I would easily add Lynx and Fushan into those lists. Lynx is a step up from Natasha, and players who plan to advance into Memory of Chaos will need two teams. Almost all teams currently running in both Memory of Chaos and our Swarm simulated universe require at least one preservation or one abundance unit. And sometimes even 
more than one like the current teams in Swarm Simulated Universe running Japard and Locha together. If you are a new player and have yet to pull for more than one standard 5 star, this banner makes even more sense to push through because even if you lose your 50-50 with Fu Shen, there's a chance you might pull some amazing units like Japard, Welt, Bronya, or Yanchang. And this is all while picking up some great 4 star units along the way. If you are not a brand new player to Honkai Star World, then you really need to look at your current roster and what you have invested to. Do you have an already well-built preservation character like Japard? Then this banner might be a bit overkill for you and you might find yourself wasting your earlier investment on a character that fills a similar role. You should also look into what light cones you have to work with and see if you have the right options for Fushen to be built correctly. Fushen being an HP scaling preservation character doesn't leave it with a ton of options. One of the best free to play light cone options for players can be found in the Hercha store called Texture of Memories. If you've already picked this up while working through your weekly simulated universe then you are definitely in luck. What team member options do you have? Another thing to think about is your current team members or future teams you're trying to build while working with Fushen. Although Fushen is a super flexible unit there are a few characters that won't work well with her mainly Blade. Blade requires damage to be targeted upon him and Fushen will redirect that damage towards herself lowering Blade's overall DPS. Although it would be nice for these two to work together since Fushen boosts HP and crit it's sadly kind of a bad match because taunts will also be split between these two characters. A better match honestly I found though on this banner is Lynx. Players with Sila or Jin Young or other high skill point consuming damage dealers will work really well alongside Fu Shen as their skill consumption is low. Jin Young actually is both a high skill point spender along with being a rather fragile damage unit. The word fragile in this case isn't in relation to like Tin Young for instance though Fu Shen will help support Tin Young greatly and hopefully help her from constantly snapping her neck on the battlefield. Jin Young is more fragile in the sense that he's extremely weak to enemies who can lock him down. Characters who are able to prevent turns from happening or slowing him down really prevent Jin Young from getting his damage out and getting those stacks on his Lightning Lord. The great thing about Fu Shen is that she provides a team-wide single debuff resist that can easily be refreshed with her skill. Jin Young means can focus on pumping out damage while not having to worry about enemies who can freeze, imprison, or even entangle your main damage dealing unit. Players who pulled Silver Wolf should really look into pulling on this banner. Silver Wolf since her release has been known for dual element teams and has been a staple for Sila mains. For instance, Quantum Electric with Sila, Silver Wolf, Tin Young, and Bailu, or Quantum Imaginary with Sila, Silver Wolf, Yukong, and Locha. Having Fushan will open up a whole set of double element teams where Silver Wolf and Fushan take the role of your Quantum duo. And then your other two slots are filled in with other future DPS units, for instance, the Fire Hunt character Topaz with Asta could possibly work in 1.4. You could even run an interesting freeze defense dropping duo with the Jinglu and Pila. There's a ton of team options for players who are lucky enough to pull both Silver Wolf and Fushen, so keep that in mind. Mono Quantum is an interesting team that gets its final members in patch 1.3. Running Sila, Silver Wolf, Fushen, and Lynx is going to be an interesting combination and option. In this team, though, Fushen moves from solo sustain into a more sub DPS unit, supporting Lynx while pumping out damage along with Sila. This team has a lot of synergy with Sila and Silver Wolf spending skill points and Link along with Fushen generating them. Lynx can even buff Fushen's damage through adding even more health to her HP bar. Fushen will definitely be a character to look forward to in the future. HP scalers and future patches that aren't like Blade and don't require taking damage will work extremely well with Fushen. Future quantum units due to Silver Wolf's nature will also be ones to watch out for as more mono teams continue to evolve and change. Players who are looking to keep up with challenging content should look towards current and future preservation characters as Hoyoverse has clearly shown in patch 1.3 they aren't afraid to make preservation characters relevant by introducing strong one-shot damage mechanics. Overall, I think Fushen is a great investment now and will be a character you constantly find yourself turning towards, especially being a unit that's so dynamic and even provides more than just her path's typical defensive capabilities. Overall, Fushen is a great option to pull for, and really the only reason you shouldn't pull is if you already have hyper-invested in other major abundance or preservation characters like Locha, Japard, or Bailu. Something to think about though if you are on the edge of pulling is your current state with the four stars on the banner. If you already have E6, Pila, and Hook, you may want to look into the shop and see how close you are to grabbing a free light cone or free four star character. If none of these options interest you, this also might be another reason to skip out on this banner. If you don't really fall into either of these groups though, and you're looking for a defensive unit that can sustain themselves on their own, by all means, pull Fushen and enjoy. That's my entire video today though. Thank you again for watching and feel free to check out my other videos. Join my Discord for guides and more and subscribe to never miss another video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.